everyone and welcome back to McKegg's Movie Mayhem in association with WBBJ7 Eyewitness News. I am your host Eli McKegg and today I'm going to be doing the movie review for Here. You could spend the rest of the night here. I could spend the rest of my life here. Now here is a new drama starring Tom Hanks and Robin Wright directed by Robert Zemeckis. The score done by Alan Silvestri, I'm mentioning all four of these because it's very much the team from like the four major players of Forrest Gump coming back together to do this film. And this film is very much, the basic concept of it is we're watching the story of just one location in one house and one home, sort of how multiple generations go through this one location and just that entire lifespan, even starting to when the meteor, the asteroid hit Earth, when the dinosaurs were roaming, all the way to like the end of the story. And the thing about it is that I love the concept. I think the concept of this movie, of just having the camera locked on the living room area throughout the entire film and just showing the progression of life. And even, they don't do a full like, chronological progression. It skips around through the different generations where we see the Native Americans, where we see colonial America, where we see one family that was in the 2020 outbreak of COVID and how like we see a family in the 20s, we see a family from the 30s, and then we see the main family that we follow. It's like we see throughout the generations of like what this house was like throughout those generations. And I really think the concept is interesting. I think, however, the execution is a different story because I found it very hard a lot of the time to connect emotionally with the characters because we were only getting a snippet of what was happening. Like there is a moment in the story where two of the characters we're going through this rough marriage patch and one of the characters ultimately, ultimately decides to leave. And then it's like there's so many things there that we're like, we're not really experiencing what this other character who just left, we're not experiencing what they're experiencing. We're not seeing their conflict. We're not seeing why they're deciding to do what they do. But we just, we just follow along with what's happening in that room. And I feel that if this would have done, been done See, I don't want to say if it was done more traditionally because, again, you can't really do a lot when you're like, okay, we're going to lock the camera and we're just going to center it on this one location and that's how we're telling the story. You don't get a lot of the emotions that are missing. Uh, for example, like whenever, like at the very beginning of this film, we see two characters sort of, at their old age, like Tom Hanks and Robin Wright's character, we see them at the old age at the very beginning and then we get the book end of it at the very end and they've gone through so many experiences that some of the experiences that they went through are missing because, we, because of where the camera was. And I'm just, as I was watching it, I was just thinking, man, I really wish I could have seen all the other stuff. I wish I could have seen what caused this had to happen because their characters specifically go through a lot of trials and tribulations throughout the story and I was just like man I wish I could see what is happening outside of this one location because outside of this one location they seem to be having a very interesting story but I'm not able to see it because of where the camera is and I just think that they could have done more with the story or it's just the story that's being told I don't know if the medium or the way they told it was the right decision like it's based off a graphic novel so I'm and I've never read the graphic novel so I don't know if the graphic novel is told in the same way of just oh it's just staying on one location and each panel is the same location just different just different areas and different eras and times and in life but just watching the being told this way. I think a story like this and the way it's being told is actually better as a comic, as a graphic novel, because it's easier to 
when you're reading a comic and you're seeing like different eras being told and it's just one location through different panels, it's easier to accept the way that the story is being told because comics are automatic are already separated by panels and we're already separated by one separate location being showed and only like a face is moved or or a body has shifted from one spot to another but the panel is still in that same location like comics are already written that way and mapped out that way that doing it as a as a movie is a little bit harder like there are moments after I saw in the credits that it was based off a graphic novel there are moments in the film actually that were s separated in a comic book like format where it's we're on one location and then we break to a separate panel and it's showing that different era in that panel and then we sort of transition into that other era and while I think that is interesting, like everything about the story is interesting. The way it is shot, the way the story is told, it's very interesting. I just don't think that film is the right medium for this story. Again, it was already a graphic novel, which is a comic book format. So it's already being told in that medium. And I think that's probably the medium that it was best told in. And I bet a lot of people when they read the graphic novel and they were like, oh, we want to make this into a movie. One of the big questions probably was, well, how are we going to do that? How are we going to tell this story? And this was how they did it. And again, I just don't think film was the right medium for this story. And while I do enjoy the performances of Tom Hanks and Robin Wright, and especially Paul Bettany, who plays sort of the dad of Tom Hanks's character, I don't think that film was the correct medium. And it's hard for me to say that because I love film and I love filmmaking. But it's like this particular story. Like there are sometimes you look at movies and you're like, oh, I don't know if this is right, the right medium for it. Like you can look at every single novel adaptation you want and you can say, oh no, the the right format wasn't films, it was novels, it was novels and books and like the original formatting of the story. So you didn't telling the story as a film had to cut out so many stuff in a as a move as a book. So you can say for this story, it wasn't the right medium because it was already a book. And while I find myself enjoying comic book adaptations, novel adaptations, video game adaptations, it's one of those things where this one in particular, I think they tried too much and too hard to keep it a little too similar to a comic book format that it took away from the filmmaking aspect. And while I do appreciate them trying something new, and while I appreciate the story that they were telling, the interesting concept that they did, I do think ultimately that took away from a lot of the emotions that we had to feel for a character in the story. Because there are a lot of moments where I could tell like, oh, I'm supposed to be crying at this moment right now, but I can't because I'm not a big fan of how the story is being told in this way. Because there are so many other things that I am missing because I'm not seeing the full story. I'm just seeing parts of the story. It's like if you were to make a movie and focus it on one person, and it's like we're only gonna see that one person's perspective. There are so many different stories that we're missing. And it's not the same as like in Smile 2, we did get it from one person's perspective, but it was interesting and the way they were telling that story was gripping because there are a lot of stuff in that movie where it's like oh we can't even trust the person that we're following like so many things are shifting around in the main character's mind and smile too that I'm able to keep track and I'm able to get emotionally invested in the main character because we don't want that character to fully lose their mind whereas this story it's like oh it seems like a lot of the interesting stuff is happening outside of this one location and we're missing all those interesting parts and I think that's what really hurts this film is that I couldn't really wrap myself around the emotions of some of the stories like I, again I really enjoyed the performances I really enjoyed the score as well because Alan Silvestri is a great composer but again I just think and I and again I thought the concept was interesting I just think this wasn't the right medium 
to tell the story. And I think if they would have tried to do it maybe a little bit more traditional, maybe the story would have been stronger. But again, that's just one of those things that we don't know because I personally don't know how the original graphic novel was told. And if the graphic novel was also told from one location, we're not changing the shot at all, then maybe this story should not have been adapted in just looking at it as a grander scale. So overall, I think if you want to try to watch this for the concept of it, you should give it a, give it a watch because the concept is interesting. However, I think whenever it comes to some of the more interesting aspects of the story, that that may lose you. So overall, I give this film, and I was thinking really hard about it, and I do think I finally agree with the answer I'm going with. I give this film a two out of five stars, a four out of 10. Next week, I'm gonna be putting up a poll, actually for you to decide what movie I'm gonna be watching this week, or next week. So I'm either gonna be watching the Christmas film, the best Christmas pageant ever, or the horror film, Heretic. But until then, I've been Eli McKegg, you've been the audience, and I hope you all remember to watch movies. Mm -hmm.